G'day folks and welcome to Gourmet Shed. Well today uh, what we're going to look at is uh, one of these old Lima restaurant cars uh, and a conversion on it to uh, bring it a bit more up to date if you like. Uh, the story with these uh, uh, Lima coaches is the fact that they have those rather large couplings on the end and what I'd like to do is uh, convert it over to the smaller, more modern uh, Backman couplings, the tension lock couplings. And uh, it's going to work a lot better on my railway connecting up, especially to some of the new stock. Now I've already had a go at this before uh, for my branch train here. This um, coach here is a mainline coach and that was quite a simple matter to just change the couplings over to the small Backmans. However, this uh, brake coach on the end here is a Lima coach and that also has been converted over to the small Backman couplings, as you can see here. And uh, I think it, it really improves the look of the, uh, the coach. These coaches uh, don't have the detail of a modern coach. However, they are very free running. They have metal wheels, usually. And uh, I've just had uh, a great desire to um, hang on to them over the years because they run so well. So now we can improve the look of the couplings at least on these models uh, quite simply. I mean if you're quite pedantic about detail you can always add more detail yourself but uh, this is a good start on uh, sort of updating these Lima coaches. Now this train I've got coming around here now has got five Backman coaches on it, modern coaches, uh, plus there's a baggage brake band on that which gives me six coaches all together. The um, ideal length for my railway is five coaches. So that uh, what I can do is uh, use the baggage brake van and I'll use the restaurant car uh, which is converted and uh, I can use those to make up another five length train which gives me a, a couple of coaches free to use up to build another train. So. <laughs> There you are, that's the logic behind it, to sort of uh, increase the number of passenger trains that I have. So we'll have a look at how we go about it. Okay folks, first thing you've got to do is uh, have a look at how to get these um, bogies off and they just pull off on the Lima models. Um, it's quite a simple thing, you've just got to nudge it along. And once you've got the bogies off, it looks like this. You can see it's got, just got that simple clip on the top there and uh, they come out quite easily and we're going to be removing these end sections here to uh, do the little job we're going to do. So the first thing you've got to do is uh, remove the wheel sets. They just pop out quite easily. And also remove the, the coupling hooks because we won't need them anymore. The next thing you do is we've got to take this piece here off this rather large rounded uh, coupling section and I did that by using a, a sharp knife and slicing along this edge, these edges here. Just slice along there and then you're also left with a, a raised section along here which needs to be sliced off as well and this, this little rounded uh, mound here needs to come off as well eventually. But first of all, we'll take off that section that was there. If we just go back, this section here, that's got to come off as well. So that's sliced along this edge here. So that's what it looks like when it comes off. That's a bit rough. And then we also take some off this edge here. If we go back you can see I've removed that section there up to in line with this rectangular section on a line about there. So that's that's come off and it looks like that. And as I say we have to remove anything from that bit there and that bit there. Now you finish up with a section that's about five millimeters wide next thing we need to do is get one of these small Backman couplings 
and as you can see it's got these two wings either side of it for mounting it into a standard sort of uh, backman or mainline uh, coupling setup but we're going to remove those two wings because we don't want those and it will look like this then you need to find some uh, suitable screws to um, mount the uh, new coupling onto the onto the bogey and uh, I've found these little self-tapping uh, conveniently black screws they have a Phillips head in them and they'll, they'll be ideal I, get, I save these sort of screws from um, old audio cassettes and uh, if you've got any old um, musical equipment uh, DVD players, CD players, um, stereos that sort of thing, computers uh, if they're really meant for the scrap heap you should have a look inside them because there's stacks of tiny little screws that can be quite useful for railways so get the uh, screws to suit the uh, coupling then you need to drill a hole through the uh, piece here that's left on the bogey to suit the screw now you need to do it slightly undersized so that when the screw is fitted in there it will cut a thread into the plastic and therefore hold uh, fairly well and uh, you should put the screw through the plastic first before fitting the coupling that way it gives it a thread to uh, find once you're putting the coupling on instead of struggling trying to get the thing through and it should look like, like that now once you fit the coupling you should check that the coupling moves freely because here at the back of the coupling hook that rounded piece it's easy enough for that to catch on the uh, rectangular piece, this piece, it's, it's easy for it to catch on there just make sure it moves freely, if it doesn't just take the uh, new coupling off again and slice a bit off this piece here and then you'll find it will move freely and then you should check the height against the wagon or coach that you've got uh, it's probably really better to do this on rail uh, but these wheels have got similar flanges so the, the height should be well it's pretty good there actually but um, it's probably better to do this on a section of rail to be absolutely sure uh, if, if the height's wrong for some reason uh, you could always shave a bit off the plastic underneath if it needs to come down or if it needs to come up you could put a washer under the, the coupling and it should look like that so once, once you're happy with it I mean it's up to you but you could file off the uh, bit of screw that comes through the bottom there if that uh, annoys you uh, I haven't done it in this case I'll come back and do it later on but uh, yeah I would normally cut that off so it looks better and uh, fit the bogies back onto the coach and you're ready for testing so I've set it here in between uh, two Backman modern coaches and as you can see it uh, lines up fairly well and seems to just slot straight in there and that's uh, a close up of how the couplings look so now we'll uh, show you some uh, trains moving just to give you an idea of how it goes Well folks, I hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, it's quite a fairly easy process really. Uh, nothing much to it. Uh, and thanks to the way that the lever coaches are set up with the bogies and all that sort of thing, so it's no big deal to uh, sort of get the knife out and uh, hack a bit off here and hack a bit off there and add something new onto the end to, to create uh, what, to all intents and purposes, will respond like a, a modern uh, coach. So that's all for now. So I'll see you next time. Cheers. Go on, mate. Thank mm -hmm. you.